Marvel 1943 trailer dropped today. Captain America, Black Panther, World War II action adventure game. I haven't seen the trailer yet. We're going to watch it together. I want to tell you something first, though. The creative director of this game, Amy Hennig, she's not had a game out since Uncharted 3. Did a little bit of work on Uncharted 4, and she was unceremoniously left. Naughty Dog. Okay, fine, whatever. She's back. Four years ago, though, she sat on stage with Timmy Schaefer and she proselytized her vision for what the medium should be, for what games can be, could be, what she wants to do next. I ain't seen the trailer yet, but I'll tell you what, I bet you that if we watch the trailer, we'll know if she's on that path and if she is, my heart will soar. But if she's just kind of made another AAA game, I'm sure it'll be great. I love superheroes, I love Amy's work, but my heart will be a little bit, a little bit broken. Let me show you some clips very, very quickly before we jump into the trailer. This is Tim Schafer talking to Amy Hennig at Dice four years ago. Here are just a couple of things that she said that got me very, very excited about her take on video games. You know why? Because it's my take on video games too. I want to see what she's saying happen. I think it can and should happen. The question is, did she do it? Here's what she said. What percentage of people actually finish these carefully curated stories that we create? Mm -hmm. So it's less than 50. I mean, sometimes I've heard 10%. And I'm excited about the fact that we may be able to actually crack into a much bigger audience that would actually welcome interactive content. It's feeling like there is a huge shift coming where our content is going to be able to reach people a lot more frictionlessly than, um, than in the past. It's going to reach a much bigger audience, and we should be starting to make things for them now. You know, because we, we think of gaming a certain way, that we're making things that are, you know, they're difficult, they're a little bit hard to approach. Um, it's about mastery, it's about competition, all these things that like a mainstream audience who just wants to settle in and experience a story mm -hmm. don't necessarily want all those things. And so maybe we just, in that sense, you know, you get away from the word game and you think about more like taking what we know how to do and, and make these much more accessible experiences for people that would probably welcome interactivity if we made it for them. She's not saying get rid of all the other games. We're all fans of those games, but I do agree with her. We're leaving a lot of money and more importantly, happiness on the table because people are intimidated by these games and there's no reason they need to be. So let's watch Marvel 1943. Terrible title. Let's watch the trailer and see if she's on the right path or if she's abandoned it because it's a hell of a hard path to walk, climb. Here we go. They're combing the streets. Searching house to house. If they arrest you too, they will take you to their headquarters and you will not return. I'm more concerned with a six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Three. Counting you. And that's two too many. Interesting. I, I will say, I mean, I've always loved Marvel Team Up, where characters, if you don't read Marvel, it's like characters from kind of, you wouldn't expect to be thrown together or thrown together in a specific adventure. I love that they're going this route. Uh, I think it's really cool. I think doing it in World War II with... Uh, What's his name? T'Challa. T'Challa's grandfather is really, really cool, and it makes a lot of sense. It's the character. I love the World War II setting. I think this is fresh. It's different. It's interesting. I'm so far. I'm I'm digging the story. I'll be there before the sun rises, before the Germans, before that American. The Eye of Force has been found. So it's Raiders meets Marvel. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful. Stand by me. When am I not? It's better if I tackle this one alone. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Our cat friend is definitely the Captain America game that they came out with for the first movie uh, was very basic. I mean, it was very B minus game, but it was a lot of fun. It was fun to play Cap. I think at this point, narratively speaking so far, I'm digging this. Uh, gameplay, God, I don't want to play another melee fucking brawler fucking thing, uh, but we'll get to that. Hang on. 
Definitely here too. By the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I. Like that he's got a shield, he's got his claws and powers, she's got some kind of badass staff, and he's got a trumpet. It's like, watch out. <laughs> I've found Hitler. I'm gonna play him some Louis Armstrong. Uh okay. 2025. Okay. So it lost me at the end. So let's just first deal with the fact we we'll get to the game part in a second, but uh Everything up until him and Cap meet on the bridge, I I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I like the story. If this had been a movie trailer, I'd go, oh, I want to see that. Uh, and I'm not turned off by it, but on the bridge, this idea of your closing moment, Marvel's already done in the comics and the movies, possibly some of the games. They've already done the, hey, that's weird. The heroes are fighting each other. I've not seen that before. It's like, we get it. That was new four or five years ago. And I'm not saying this should or shouldn't be part of their narrative, but to end the trailer with this, like it's like, oh shit, that's a terrible way to to, to lose momentum. Uh, everything else I thought was great. I was, I love the setting. I love the characters. Um, you know, look, man, There, there's, here's what I'll tell you though. Okay, I will tell you that this feels like if if I hadn't shown you any of those clips from Amy and people were saying this is just another uh, action adventure superhero game. And my understanding is it's a single player game. You're jumping between players in the narrative, which I like. And I'm sure, you know, Amy's super fucking smart. She knows not to, even though it looks like they would both just be brawlers. I'm sure Captain America plays very different than the other three characters and certainly Black Panther. But I think... If you hadn't seen those clips from Amy, you'd go, oh, there's just another cool superhero game, whatever. There's nothing about it that makes you go, uh, unless you're just a fan of the story in, in Marvel, that makes you go, oh, fuck. And that's fine. Then maybe they don't, they don't need to do that yet. But I would argue they need to do that yet. I think it's, I don't think you put trailers out today with all the competition without, even though it's a story trailer, without offering some of the, the sex appeal of this, which is what's going to make this unique and different at a, at a play level. Now. What I will say is the story is very cool. And if, and we cannot tell from this trailer, obviously, but if this game plays more like what Amy was talking about or her vision on how to achieve what she was talking about at that dice conference with Schaefer, this could be fucking cool. Cause there's a lot of people who love Marvel men and women and older and younger and people who are not going to be able to play this game. If it is like, you know, uh, it certainly wouldn't be a souls game in terms of difficulty, but e even if it is just like as simple as uncharted, what she said is still as accurate. Then I would be super fucking excited because I think it's a cool story. It's a mainstream story. And I think a lot of people could enjoy it, but I think if it's just another brawler, uh, eh, meh. and I, you know, it's hard. I don't know, man. That's a, that's a real risky thing to do, but you know, you, you got to break some eggs to make a omelet. Anyway, I don't eat omelets. I don't like omelets. Anyway, Let me know in the comments. Well, I mean, I am curious. I'll, I, I don't know how to put a poll up for comments. Point is, I'm curious. What do you think of the title? And everything, all of it, the whole thing about life. What, what's happening? Hey, I'm not even joking with you. You got to like and subscribe this fucking thing.